Chemistry. Trypanosoma brucei is a slim crescent-shaped parasite, elongated with flagella for mobility. This parasite is able to split itself in order to multiply for an adequate amount of itself to swim in and eventually take over the bloodstream. This cunning parasite is surrounded by protein coat, which when being attacked by white blood cell antibodies of our system, has the ability to change in order to confuse the white blood cells, rendering them, rendering them useless as they do not meet the exact protein of newer mutated trypanosoma. Although indistinguishable, there are two main types of trypanosoma brucei, splitting in order of how long and how brutally it affects the immune system. These two are trypanosoma, or T, Brucia gambiensi, Trypanosoma T, Brucia rodiensi. The difference between gambiensi and rodiensi comes into play here. The difference is time. T, Brucia gambiensi can take up to seven years from infection till death. And so the mild symptoms come in months, but as the severe symptoms, and optionally death, only come after th about three to four years. But T. brucei rodiensi, on the other hand, only takes a matter of weeks to show mild symptoms and a couple of months to, sh to show the severe ones, eventually death via coma. T. brucei brucei is another trypanosoma that only affects animals, so we don't really explain that other than it's another form of infection transport. In this form, the trypanosoma is also known as Nagana. Chemistry. Trypanosoma brucei is a slim crescent-shaped parasite, elongated with flagella for mobility. This parasite is able to split itself in order to multiply for an adequate amount of itself to swim in and eventually take over the bloodstream. This cunning parasite is surrounded by protein coat, which, when being attacked by white blood cell antibodies of our system, has the ability to change in order to confuse the white blood cells, rendering them, rendering them useless, as they do not meet the exact protein of newer mutated trypanosoma. Although indistinguishable, there are two main types of trypanosoma brucei, splitting in order of how long and how brutally it affects the immune system. These two are Trypanosoma, or T, Brucia gambiensi, Trypanosoma, T, Brucia rodiensi. The difference between gambiensi and rodiensi comes into play here. The difference is time. T, Brucia gambiensi can take up to seven years from infection till death. And so the mild symptoms come in months, but as the severe symptoms, and optionally death, only come after th about three to four years. But T. brucei rodiensi, on the other hand, only takes a matter of weeks to show mild symptoms and a couple of months to, sh to show the severe ones, eventually death via coma. T. brucei brucei is another trypanosoma that only affects animals, so we don't really explain that other than it's another form of infection transport. In this form, the trypanosoma is also known as Nagana. Infection. The important thing to note about this non-prevalent disease is that it only has one way of transport, via physically moving through flies while in their daily life. This one type of transport is known as the tsetse fly and only lives in a equatorial Africa. There has never been a case of human to human transmission the trypanosoma is carried from organism to organism via it using infecting the flies ingesting system and by three weeks invading its salivary gland. From there, the next organism it bites gets infected via directly injected under the skin. From the protozoa from there, the protozoa invade the lymphatic vessels from there, they make their way into the bloodstream and are pumped throughout the body, infecting all other blood bodily fluids. Eventually, trypanosoma infects the spinal fluid, fluid, and from there, the central nervous system. Soon, the bite area makes a small, swollen, hard, and very red nodule on the skin. And soon after that, the victim develops a fever and severe headaches and fatigue, leading to its more well-known name, sleeping sickness. 
While you sleep most, if not all, of the day, the hours that you are awake are blurred in slightly drunken ways, as the brain does not function in its normal ways at its normal capacity, leading to decreased ability to concentrate, speak, and walk. Just to name a few. This is due to this, the spoken of infection of the spinal fluid, leading to inflammation of the cord and the brain itself. So as the body begins to waste away, you slip into a corner with death to follow.